Salakia <clears throat> Katina with the lesson. This is uh, part two for in the news on July the 14th, 2022, uh, 6 17 p.m. Central Standard Time on this uh, Thursday afternoon. And this is uh, once again, like I mentioned before, this is part two of this lesson. As we see once again, the Dow Jones slips negative 132 points and then brought down to a total of uh, 30,000 something points. And uh, continuing on with the reading of the news article. Because <clears throat> cause Salaki, I was kind of interrupted because my uh, sister had a call. So now, the Wadi Yaba Chanel Shai for letting me have an opportunity and a uh, chance to uh, be able to do part two of the sit down lesson. And continuing on with the news article and it reads it says the stocks close in a negative territory but will they but will off their lows at one point the Dow Jones plunged as much as 628 points which probably that was earlier today of a negative range of 628 while the NASDAQ and S&P 500 fell more than 2% Antiquities were on track to close out the week in a negative territory. If the banks are bar meter of the whole economic, <coughs> I mean economy, as well as what we're likely to get from the other earnings reports going forward, it's going to be an ugly quarter," uh, said Sam Starver, chief uh, investment strategist at CFRA earnings results from major banks on Thursday offering further clues into the health of the economy the fears of a recession looming right for the past couple of weeks as you know I was doing sit down lessons and they kept on sending out continued warnings of a potential um, recession of a uh, economic recession constantly consistently you know and it seems like more than likely we're getting to that point as the uh, <clears throat> economy continues to slip the uh, Wall Street continues to slip in the negatives rating the housing market not so good the cost of living constantly consistently going up spending more than ever from a two from uh, 8.2% to 9.1%. The highest spending have we ever seen in a while now. Even though the gas prices uh, plunged down for the last close to three weeks now. But ex- expect it's going to increase uh, a little bit more as well too. And uh earning results from the bank on Thursday offering further clues on I mean further clues into the health of the US economy fears of a recession looms JP Morgan uh, Chase shares a sinking 3.5% after the bank added uh, the bank added to reserves for bad loans and halt its share buybacks, singling more cautious economic outlook as profits dip. CEO Jamie Dimon warned that the economy could take a hit from surging inflation and geopolitical tensions. As the welling consumers' confidence, something down the road it says continuing the trend Morgan Stanley shares slip about 0.4% in the back of a sharp decline in investment banking revenues while Goldman Sachs which is set to report earnings morning I mean set to report uh, report earnings on Monday fell nearly 3% earnings from the big banks continue on Friday with results from West Fargo and Citi Group which dropped 0.8% and about 3.0% I mean I meant to say uh, 3% respectively during Thursday's session 
The result from the banks raised further concerns that earnings estimates have perhaps risen too much in recent, recent months. How much too much those numbers decline depends on the state of the economy and how hard a recession hits one if it strikes, said Bob Dole, chief investor, official officer at the Crossmark Global Investments. Right, because these uh, companies that are businesses and CEOs of these companies, you know, their companies taking a drastic hit, you know, with their uh, earnings of and the stocks and bonds continue to slip. As you see, the uh, Dow Jones and S&P 500 keep on continuing to slip as well, too, of a potential uh, loom of a recession being hit for the economy. And globally, it's going to affect it well, too. It says the markets is finally concerning about the facts that estimates have gone up almost non-stop during the first half of this year are going to be under some pressure. And of course, today's call script is J.P. Morgan. He said, how can corporate America in the wake of slowing economy can cause print pressures have the earnings that have been expected? The consensus, those numbers have come down Declines from J.P. Morgan, Globe, Golden Saxon, and American Express led the Dow losses on Thursday, while energy, material, and finances were among the S&P 500 worst performance sectors. Uh, Mossack shares tumbled 5.7 percent, while energy companies. Uh, Hel Helen Burnt Diamond Back Energy and EOG Resources fell more than 3%. The big tech stocks were mixed on Thursday with the information technology up near 1%. Shares of Apple added 2% and NVIDIA gained more than 1%. And Meta platforms and sales for slips. We think more equally downside is likely. Primary because the earnings expected are too high, wrote City Jamie Falvey. Thursday's market's moves come after the consumer price index for June came in a hot at 9.1% and opened the door for a big Federal Reserve rate interest later this month, spurring spectators of a Fed rate hike as much as 100 base points. Comments uh, from Federal Reserve Governor Chris Wall on Thursday elevated some of these fears as he said he's prepared to consider a bigger hike, but the market is kind of getting ahead of itself. <clears throat> so yeah, I ain't gonna read too much all into that. So as I was, you know, reading through the uh, news article, because it's affecting some of these uh, businesses and these companies as well, too, even though you might have like some technology in certain banks might have a little 1% increase or sums might increase. But a lot of these companies, you know, they was slipping Golden Saxton and banks and stuff like that. Their stock was falling as well, too. So that shows you more signs of uh, we're potentially entering a economic uh, slowdown, an economic slow of growth, and a potentially uh, a recession in the in economy. You know. So I'm gonna bring out a scripture and close it out. So yeah, you know, for the past two or three days straight, I've been doing these videos, and as you see, the uh, the economy uh, and the uh, Wall Street continue to slip. Uh, let's see. Uh, Uh, 
Galatians 18 and 2. And he cried with a mighty strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. It has become a habitation of devils, and a hole of every foul spirit, and a cave of... Uh, in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Right, because modern day Babylon is definitely uh, consistently falling uh, on the economic scale. As you see in the news, as I do these videos, and other brothers do videos and relate to this, uh, the economy is slipping uh, and it's about to potentially enter a recession as the Dow Jones continue to slip, these are uh, businesses that put their stocks and bonds in the Wall Street. Some might gain some, and then a lot. Uh, and a lot slip as well, too, you know. And I'm going to bring out Jeremiah 51 and 8, one more scripture. Even though I said it was going to be one scripture, but uh, bring out one more through the Spirit for edification of the sit down lesson. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 8 Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bond for her pain? If so, she may be healed, right? Modern day Babylon, you know, she would be healed, but she can't be healed. You know, especially on the economic sense, because as we've seen, this this is progressing as a trend uh, on an everyday basis. Monday through Friday, as you see, the uh, stocks constantly, consistently having continually mixed reactions. Uh, you know, with the uh, report of the uh, inflation's increase from eight point. 8.2% to 9.1% as its highest since the month of June which they call it red hot of uh, spending in the month of June from 9.1% 9.1% even though the oil prices went down but expect for it to go back up and the cost of living is going up everything is uh, of a citizen that deals with you know, paying their uh, bills and stuff like that. Paying their uh, house mortgage, uh, paying their rent, paying their uh, cell phone bill, paying uh, to have food on the table, and uh, taxes constantly, consistently going up. The Federal Reserve uh, raising the interest rates and the uh, money being and money being plunged into the economy with the Wall Street as it continue to have mixed reactions and the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 continue to slip as well too. And so that shows you signs and indication that this place is falling economically, you know? So with that, I uh, hope this uh, lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of the Hawaii Owl Shop. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor too to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Preach the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Preach the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, uh, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Preach the word truthfully and sincerely. That be like unto the speckled bird. And until next time, I will say Shalom and a bubble ball.